Shirley Ann Dormish has told me that she really, really loves to do these readings. It's one of her very, very favorite things. And Shirley Ann is a mother of five and a grandmother of 12. Uh, this particular reading she's doing is an alphabet piece, which means that every sentence starts with a different letter of the alphabet. So as she reads, you might see if you can follow the alphabet with her. So Shirley Ann Dormish, thank you. Sisters, A to Z. After the shoe dropped with Patty's diagnosis, a new phase began. Battles were constant. Crying was common. Distress was prevalent. Each day flowed into the next with no answer. Fog permeated our thinking. Guessing was our game. Hindered by distance, the phone became our tool. Investigation into this disease was the goal. Just when we thought all was beginning to come together, another roadblock occurred. Kin failed to communicate. Listening to the adult children was sad. Mom, not mom any longer. Needless to say, from, from afar, we tried to help. Over and over, we had to stand back and wait. Problems kept, kept presenting themselves without a resolution. <coughs> Quietly, I suggested a bracelet for her safety but no response was forthcoming. Results of the test confirmed our thoughts. Sadly, we conversed about what the doctor said. Thoughts and memories flooded through our minds of wonderful and great times together. Uncle, uncle, we shouted, don't take our sister. Visiting in February was a great yet sad opportunity to be together just in case. Wahoo! Patty was able to shoot three baskets, one after another, while her grandchildren watched. Xeric times are coming. However, Xanadu waits. Yeast of this disease grows uncontrolled. Zig, zag, zero, zap. This is Alzheimer's. Wow.